transformation for me is about inspiring brilliant leadership. Finally, finally, we're making our way to the standard where we will have access to all the good components available in the world. I couldn't be more excited, actually. If you think about the last two years we've had with the pandemic, the supply chain resiliency is at the forefront of any successful business, and these tools are going to allow us to be more resilient for our customers, but more importantly, our associates. What's exciting me is um, the willingness and the commitment of both our leaders in the business and our shareholders to build an even better Belron in the future. The why is simply we want to make a bigger difference and having chosen a world designed based on best practices with the best technologies that are suited for us is an incredible opportunity for us. It's a great opportunity for us to upgrade our old systems, our tired systems. Um, and when I'm thinking also of the opportunity to simplify processes uh, for our people and our customers, are also, I'm also feeling excited. So as a leader, my real uh, emphasis is on um, ensuring clarity, ensuring that the why remains uh, at the forefront of everything. So, so the most important is uh, by giving sense uh, what uh, what are we doing? What are we? What we? What we want to do? Uh, why? How? Uh, it is by, by also uh, showing uh, all the benefit we can expect from the from the transformation: more agility, reactivity, uh, efficiency. We are running at high speed within the company. Very successful company. Are we trying to while the plane is flying, trying to change the four engines at the same time? How can we get that match together in a, in a collaborative way? as a small country, you know, to be able to be part and gain from a lot of things that are happening uh, throughout Belron. Um, I mean, being one Belron instead of being 39 or 40 country developing our own stuff, uh, I think this is part of actually what Gary was saying earlier, to be an even better Belron. It's quite likely there'll be delays, there'll be bumps in the road, but that happens with these sort of programs and it's incumbent on us as leaders to help people through those bumps and get us out the other side. At the end of the day, it's going to be an enabler across the business, whether it be within the people function, whether it be also for, you know, for different systems we're putting in place from a supply chain standpoint, there's, there's different systems we're looking at. We're very excited about the future. Change is difficult for anyone, but when we look to the future, I think it not just helps bring standardization, automation um, and efficiency to the business. I think it also think, looks at the four quadrants. Well, collaboration, efficiency, modernity and uh, a lot of energy. In Australia we've seen firsthand what a modern integrated system has done for us over the last five years. It's just going to be incredible for our people, for our customers and, uh, and the performance of the organisation being able to accelerate. I love so much Modernize because we will change a completed experience of our people. To have a once platform for all our employees in the world before the processes of HR will be fantastic. It's about simplifying. It's about simplifying, making it easier, making it faster. It makes perfect sense. Why would you not leverage our global scale to create an even better bell run? I mean, the thing that excites me most is that our, our systems make it hard for our people to do, provide a brilliant service. So the best thing about it will be creating systems which make it easier for people to serve customers. We promise the opportunity that it creates for our organization um, it's just going to be an enabler that takes us even further on this journey. It feels really exciting now because I think we've gelled as a team from a, a global and a safe flight perspective. We're, we're, um, we're now kind of very focused on delivering safe flight as Pathfinder. Um, and I'm just keen to get on with it and yeah, get stuff done. <laughs> Jerusalem.